Turn now to a GMA health alert about microplastics. The new study finds that microplastics in food and drink packaging may be seeping into what we consume. Our chief medical correspondent, Dr. Tara Narula, joins us now with what this all means. And Doc, tell us, break down this new report. How concerned should we be about microplastics? Well, researchers here analyzed 103 prior studies looking at how food plastic packaging might be contaminating the food we eat with microplastics, these less than five millimeter breakdown products of plastics. And they, in fact, found that there really was a direct connection between the plastic packaging and the amount of microplastics in our food supply. And there were certain scenarios where they saw more release of particles. The first was applying stress or tension to the plastic. So for example, Michael, if you're screwing mm. and unscrewing the top on a bottle with that it is made of plastic, that released microplastics. Um, they also saw chopping on a cutting board that might be plastic warming or heating the plastic. So even a plastic tea bag that you're dipping in and out of your tea could be associated with this. Washing and rewashing over and over again. And then ultra processed foods, again, because they go through so many steps in the packaging process. Now, the issue here is that plastic was invented in 1907. And since then, we've seen this explosion of microplastics all over the world. We've seen it in our organs. We talked about this before, but in brain, liver, kidney, placenta, mother's breast mm. milk, and even in the first stool, the meconium, that newborns have so in in our cells so this is really affecting us and I think researchers are trying to figure out what are the long-term health consequences of this in terms of concerns for cardiovascular disease digestive problems reproductive and hormone imbalances but essentially they're saying look we are human as human beings are becoming polluted with microplastics yeah wow. a few years ago with the Easter Island we did a whole yeah. study on microplastics yeah, yeah. and the effect on the environment but what how can we limit our exposure <laughs> it's really it seems like so, so much stuff that we use every day it is and it gets into us you know through what we breathe eat through our skin mm. and so there are certain steps you can take so certainly avoiding those single-use plastics containers trays cups bottles using glass or metal silverware cups instead avoid putting your plastics in the microwave or in the dishwasher um, if you're using pans to cook don't use the non-stick ones you want to use like ceramic or stoneware or glass using natural fibers even with babies we're talking about glass bottles metal or wooden toys um, um, and then you can also look at the bottom of your plastics. You see that triangular little symbol. Sometimes it has a number on it. So you want to try to avoid the numbers that are three, six, and seven. Those tend to be less heat resistant and more prone to leaching out those chemicals. Um, and then you think about drinking regular tap water that's filtered as opposed to bottled water and avoiding those processed foods. You see what I have right wow. here? Yes, yes, there you go. Not a plastic straw. <laughs> a metal, metal straw. Yeah, a metal straw. That's perfect. Oh, I thought you were just saving the environment. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're worried about microplastics. <laughs> And, and herself. And herself. <laughs> All right. Dr. Narula, thank you as always. Cheers. Always appreciate it.